I'm in Poole, in Dorset, in England, and their symbol is a dolphin. But there's no sign of dolphins today. And if you want to know how to draw one, just keep watching. Are you ready? Then let's go. You're going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. And uh, as ever, I want you to draw very lightly um, so that you can rub out the pencil lines later. Now a dolphin is all very smooth curves. So you want to start off, it's going to be a kind of a leaping dolphin this one. Um, nice smooth curve like that. And then another one coming up kind of like that. It's kind of an eyeball shape, I suppose. Well, not an eyeball, but an eye shape. Um, and at this point here, I want to bring out the beak. And the beak is the really important bit that makes um, a dolphin look like a dolphin. And the really important bit that makes it look like it's smiling is just around here. And um, I think an orthodontist or a dentist would call it an underbite. And it's it's kind of bottom lip sticks out and there you can see there's the real kind of feel of the dolphin there and just behind the end of the mouth there's the eye and I'm going to have his eyeball just looking slightly at you like that because they're kind of inquisitive aren't they look at you right that's mostly it there isn't it so we're all the way around the tail the, the, the back there's the dolphin fin which comes uh, the dorsal fin, <laughs> the dolphin fin, um, just trying to talk and draw at the same time. There's the dorsal fin, which is quite um, quite far down the back. And then this body, and you can maybe make it come kind of like that there, all the way down to the tail, or fluke, as uh, whales and dolphin tails are called. Um, and follow... You want a kind of a curve round from there, and a curve round from there, like that, and a little blob at the bottom, a little kind of a lobe, and then you want to find a, a a midpoint to aim for, and then it's kind of an S shape that goes up and joins that bit there, like that. It's, it's kind of a complicated shape that I I found dolphin and whale tails really hard to do at first. But you just have to kind of keep working out what's going on, uh, and I think they're called flukes. I think I, I think. Don't quote me on this. Tell me if I'm wrong. Make a comment. Um, but I think that what's different with uh, dolphin tails and um, fish tails is that dolphins are mammals. So a fish tail is actually kind of an extension of the vertebrae and is the tail, uh, whereas the the, the 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 fluke is really the feet that have come together once once they were feet and now they have become a fish and the feet have come back together so it's not actually a tail it's a fluke it's the old it's the old residual part of their feet I think but don't quote me <laughs> let me know if I'm wrong or let me know if I'm right too um, now we need to ink this in and I don't know that just feels like a good place to start there. Have a little bit extra on there, and then we'll follow all the way around and into there, and then the mouth comes there because they have that kind of cheeky smile, don't they? Um, I feel like doing the the flippers next or the fins because that, that's right on the top, so I know everything else has to go underneath it, um, and bring that to there. We'll go up and just slightly under and remember to come all the way around and up again like that. And it's that little bit there that mmm that kind of gives it this dolphin-y look. Uh, I think I made that eye a little bit too big, but I'm gonna have a circle that's just to one side of the big circle, and then a circle inside it to make it look shiny. It's a cartoon eye, isn't it really? Um but it's a cartoon dolphin. And then that's the flipper behind. Take that curve all the way around there all the way around there and up around there and then it's all smooth curves and there's your dolphin that didn't take long did it now I've drawn this twice before actually once I didn't have it in focus 
once um, it was that the eye wasn't dry so I'm going to dry that now uh, with my trusty hair dryer which I've been using for about 20 years now whoa that should be dry <laughs> and I, I did this on the first drawing and, and I smeared ink all over the place so make sure that the drawing is nice and dry before you erase out those uh, pencil marks and, and a bit there too and look, there you are that's basically your your dolphin and you can um, add some kind of droplets of water coming off and some whoosh marks as it's leaping out of the water and that will have uh, water coming out of there like that and, and maybe I'll put a bit of shading in there maybe I'll put a bit of shading in there too and oh I don't know I feel like doing a little bit of that just to give a bit of substance to that leading edge of the fins like that and I'm not going to do any more um, you can look up in a book how, how to colour them in uh, what colour because they're all different they're all different um, lots of different types of dolphin but that's basically your dolphin shape so enjoy drawing that and keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School visit my website at www.shoerainer.com and um, if you really want to go to Amazon and buy some of my books they're really good. Bye.